Howdy howdy, this is Mr. Potter. In our videos so far, we've talked about how to make some very basic GUIs, but the GUIs that we've made have been just that, pretty basic. Uh, the idea is that if I want to have a more complicated layout, I'm not going to be able to do it with just one border layout or with just one grid layout or one flow layout. I'm going to need to combine them. And so that's what we're going to talk about today is how do I combine them so I can have a grid within a border or a flow layout within a grid layout or something like that. And the way we're going to do that is through a tool called panels. So let's go ahead and create a, a new empty Java file. And we're going to call this uh, telephone. Make sure I'm on my desktop because it likes to change my folder for me. So I'm going to do uh, my import statement. So import javax.swing.jframe. Uh, import. You know what? I'm just going to copy this because these are all the same. So I'm going to have javax swing j label, j button, and I'm going to have a j panel. And then I'm going to have my import uh, java.awt container, uh, import java.awt. Uh, I'm going to do one grid layout. And because I haven't done a program involving just this yet, I'm going to do java.awt.border layout. And then because I'm going to have buttons on here that I'm going to interact with my form with, I'm going to do java.awt.event.action listener and action event. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this and paste event. Alright, so we are going to have public class telephone extends jframe implements action listener. And then you're going to have our constructor. So public class telephone and we're going to do our JFrame stuff. So we're going to have set size. I'm going to go ahead and set size to 400, 400. I'm going to set default close operation to exit on close. We're going to set title to telephone and set visible to true. Okay. Now I'm going to have some private things here. So I'm going to have private uh, J label, which I'm going to call output. I'm going to have a private uh, J button, which I'm going to call clear. And then I'm also going to have a private array of buttons, which I'm going to call buttons. So I'm going to talk about how I can create a whole bunch of buttons which have very similar features to them and then add them to our form as necessary and we'll be able to manipulate things fairly well with this. So um, I need to go ahead and uh, initialize components. So output gets new J label. And I'm going to start it off with just a space in there and I'm going to do the alignment uh, for jlabel.center. We talked last time about how I can use the second parameter in the jlabel constructor as the alignment label. I'm going to say clear gets new jlabel, uh, excuse me, jbutton, and it's going to say clear. And then I'm going to say jbutton, or I'm going to say buttons actually, gets new jbutton, and I'm going to have 12 buttons on here. And then I want to initialize these 12 buttons, so I'm going to set up a loop. I get 0, I is less than or equal to 9, I plus plus, and I'm going to say buttons sub I gets new J button. And last time we talked about how we could use string dot value of, today I'm going to cheat and just do concatenation to force it to be a string. So button 0 is going to have a 0 on it, button 1 is going to have a button a 1 on it, and so forth. And that's going to leave me two buttons down here, so buttons sub 10 is going to get a new J button 
with the octothorpe on it, the old uh, hashtag or pound sign, and button sub 11 gets new J button with the asterisk. So I've got the 12 buttons that we would have, oops, the 12 buttons that you would have on a telephone. Uh, initialized all of those, 0 through 9 plus the pound sign and the asterisk. I've got a clear button and then I've got a place for my output. So this is basically going to emulate a telephone where I can type numbers in it and it'll build a telephone number. That's kind of what we're planning to do here. Now, I've got a situation though, because what I really want is I want a top area where my label is going to be and then I'm going to have a central area where my buttons are going to be and then I'm going to have a clear button on the bottom. So it's really going to help me to have a border layout to set up that north, center, and south. But in the middle, in that center region, I'm going to want a grid. And so the question is how do I get a grid in the center and the way we do that is we set up a panel. So I'm going to say J panel center gets new uh, J panel. And a J panel is already a container, so I don't need to get the content pane for it. I can just say center.setLayout, and this is going to be a new grid layout. And when I look at a telephone pad, a telephone pad has 1, 2, 3 on the top row, then 4, 5, 6 on the next row, 7, 8, 9, then star or excuse me, pound, zero, and then star. So there are four rows and three columns. And so I need to make sure that I have those set up for my J panel. And then what I want to do is I want to add the 12 buttons to this panel. So keep in mind the first nine buttons that I'm going to add, because it's going to add them in order on the first row, then in order on the second row, and so forth. So I'm going to do for int i gets one, i is less than or equal to nine i plus plus. And then what I want to do is I want to center.add, and I want to add buttons sub i. And that's going to force button 1, then button 2, then button 3, and so forth to be added to the layout. And then after it's gone through this loop, that's going to fill up the first three rows. So now in my last row, I'm going to put the octothorpe in, so center.add, and that was buttons sub 10. Then I'm going to add the 0, so center.add buttons sub zero and then center dot add buttons sub 11 and so that's going to add everything to that center layout pane that we've got this J panel so now what I need to do is I need to actually set up my J frame to have the content format the the layout that I want so now I'm going to set up the layout of the frame so I'm going to do container pane gets new, uh, excuse me, gets uh, gets this dot get content pane. And then I'm going to say pane dot set layout to a new border layout, border layout. And now with my pane, I can add the stuff that I want. So I can do pane.add, and I want to add output to border layout layout dot north. I'm going to do pane.add, and I'm going to add center to border layout dot center. And then I'm going to do pane.add. And I'm going to add clear, which is my clear button, to border layout dot south. And now what I need to do is, because I am implementing action listener, I need to make sure that all 13 of my buttons, all of the buttons in the array of buttons plus my clear button, are set up to deal with my action listener. So I need to set up the action listener. So I'm going to set up a loop for int i gets 0, i is less than 12, i plus plus, and I'm going to say button sub i dot add action listener, listener, this, and then I want to say clear dot add action listener, this. And then that sets up my GUI. 
So then I've got my set visible true, so make it visible. Okay. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to do a public uh, action performed action event E. And I'm not going to put anything in it for right now. And then a public static void main string args. Just create a new telephone object. Because I just want to see if this works. I, I may have made a mistake along the way, and I just want to try and get those mistakes out of the way. Ooh, horrible lot of mistakes. Let me figure out what my issue is. Stop, stop, stop. So what did I do so horribly wrong? It's probably just one thing. Oh, brace expected because... Public, oh, that's not public class telephone, that's just my constructor. Oh, what an idiot. Okay, so let's get this straight. Um, and then I apparently, on line 37, I neglected to close my brace. Where was that? So center.add button sub i and then a close bracket and then semicolon. And it said return type expected, so this would have been public void. So, little mistakes that I'm making along the way. This is what happens when you go without a script. But I just want to make sure that the layout looks okay. Now, my buttons don't actually do anything at this point, but I have a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I've got my pound sign, my zero, and my asterisk. I've got a clear button, and then up here is my J label, which currently has nothing but a space. And I wanted to put a space in there, and I, I do actually want to show you all what happens when I don't. Even if I make that just an empty string and try and run it, you'll see that because Java thinks that there's nothing in that label it just won't render it and so you won't even see the label up here so i do need to kind of put a space in there just to, to make sure that everything's okay so my layout works out fine and the idea here is that i can use aj panel to get a more complicated layout that's really what we're working for here so now i want to make this actually dial telephone numbers and i need to get my action performed to work so I'm going to say string action gets e dot get uh, get action command. What is it? E dot get action command. And then what I want to do is I want to say if action dot equals clear. Clear is the only thing that actually has a difference than every other uh, button on here. When the clear button is hit, then I want to take my output and I want to set text to a string with one space in it. Okay. Else, if that's not true, then I want to take the string that I currently have and add the character that I just did, which is currently stored in action. And I want to add it by concatenation, and I want to add it to the end. So if I have a 2 and I press a 1, I want to say 2, 1 in the string, or 21 in the string. So I'm going to go down to this else, and I'm going to say output.setText to whatever output.getText is. We talked about how we have set text and get text for all of our J components that we've talked about. And then I want to concatenate action in there. So that should be the main idea here. What did I do wrong again? Something silly. Oh, yeah. String should be capitalized, shouldn't it? Silly me. So now, if I type in a 1, a 1 shows up in my display. And I can type in a 2, 1, 0... And then I can continue to type numbers like 2263232. And if I'm at my bank, I can hit pound or star or pound to advance to whatever field is. My clear button's the only one that I had to set up completely different. The idea is that when I hit the clear button, this label completely clears. And then I can go ahead and type in another number. 5551212. Five, five, one, two, one, two. And then I can hit pound or star or whatever my business needs me to do. So... The idea behind today's lesson is that I can create more complex layouts by using a JPanel 
uh, and putting these J panel in various spots. I could actually make a grid layout of J panels where one of them is border layout, one of them is flow layout, one of them is grid layout. I, I can do a lot of combinations here. And that's going to give me a lot of versatility when it comes to me trying to get a nice layout here. So, once again, this is Mr. Potter. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.